Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to Gashi's Kaman TV, the tallest man in Black Africa. William Samaruto will regret the impeachment of Rigali Gashagwa. The worst decision that William Samaruto made is to impeach Rigali Gashagwa, who was his deputy. As far as I am concerned, William Samaruto will never ever recover from the damage that this impeachment is going to bring. If you look at the damage that has been caused by the impeachment, it is of monumental proportion. It is this damage that I want us to look in this video. So if you enjoy this channel for the first time, please subscribe to our channel. And for viewers, please like the video at this juncture. So what are the damages that will result from the impeachment? Number one in my view is the death of the Yellow Party. As far as I am concerned, UDA is now a Karijin party. UDA is only a, a, a one tribe party. That is the Karijin nation. Previously, it had what we call a sibling uh, of a national party because it had some uh, people, especially from, from the mountain. Uh, it had uh, members from like Kipia, Nyadarwa, Kiabu, Moranga, Kirinyaga, Nairobi, and so on and so forth. Today, UDA is a shell of its former bad self. That is the worst damage. And William Samoruto will have to consider if he is going to vie for uh, the presidency using that party. And members of, especially those who come from Mount Kenya, they will have to rethink twice because they cannot win the, 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 their position. They cannot be re-elected to their position using UDA tickets. Ladies and gentlemen, the second damage that has been caused by the impeachment is the loss of Mount Kenya vote. The moment the Shagwa name was taken to the National Assembly, William Samoruto lost more than half of the Gemma Nation votes. The moment he was taken to the Senate, he lost the other half. The moment Gashagwa was taken to court, people now started sympathizing with Riyadh Gashagwa. The moment he was hospitalized, the moment he was taken ill, the moment he was admitted in a current hospital, that is the time that William Samuel Ruto sealed his fate for the second term. So he has completely lost more than four million from it ago by the way that impeachment somebody may argue that Raila is going to bring votes for william samuel ruto because all argos indicate <clears throat> that uh, Raila and ruto are going to work together in 2027 but he's going to be confronted by voters empathy in Raila's stronghold because for those of us who have been supporting Raila, we cannot be able to agree with him to move now to UDA. Let me ask you, if you have been supporting Raya Morodega, and now he tells you, William Samoruto, Tosha, William Samoruto is our 2027 candidate, would you buy that idea? Would you agree with him? What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Number three damage that William Samoruto has caused to himself is the issue of trust. He has lost the trust of the nation. He has lost the trust of even other leaders. And I'm sure even Kediki, if he's going to assume that office, he's going to sleep with his one eye open and the other one closed. William Samoruto is this person. He will tell you we move in this direction. Yet he has <clears throat> very dangerous cards under the table. So even those people who are going to work with him, they are not going to trust him. Trust is key. 
as far as politics is concerned. But the perception that he has created is that we know someone who talk will always betray you. We know someone who talk cannot uh, actually keep his word. We know someone who talk. You always look at his interest. That is the second damage that he has caused. The other damage that he has caused is to members of the Kariji nation. Members of the Kariji nation, the way now they are talking, no, I've been listening to them. The way they have been talking with a lot of arrogance, the way they have been talking with a lot of pride, the way they have been talking with a lot of entitlements is in itself a huge damage. The national unity is now in jeopardy. Remember very well that Urumwai Kenyatta had worked so hard to bring this nation together. William Samuel Ruto has worked very hard to bring this nation asada. He has put the nation asada. He has divided the nation along tribal lines. He has planted the seed of discord. He has planted the, dis the, the, the seed of tribalism and its ugly face. So this damage that he has caused is going to affect the nation in a big way. The other one is on the economy. Our economy is getting a vara beating. The politics of, every, uh, uh, of the day are taking center stage. Nobody is talking about development. It is just a political game. Every day, in fact, you, I've been listening to Kenyans, and many Kenyans have been saying, we are fed up with the politics. We are fed up with William Samoruto. I am no, I'm sure there are people here <clears throat> who actually do not watch news. Let me ask you, do you watch news today? Do you oh, oh, switch on your TV? Or do you switch on your radio to listen to William Samoruto? Because the damage that is being done to the economy is of monumental proportion. And I'm not sure whether this country is going uh, to uh, recover. I'm not sure whether it's going to recover. Because you see now, this week, everybody will be thinking about the impeachment of Rigadi Gashago. You'll be thinking about the court. Is he going to survive? Is he going to survive? That is a question that many people are asking. And many people, there are a number of people who actually don't even go to work just to watch Gashagwa going down. So the economy is getting a thorough beating. So even as we talk about uh, so many things, even if we talk about impeachment of Gali Gashagwa, let it be clear to many Kenyans that the country is suffering. He has all, William Samuruto has also lost the church. And the church, you remember, is the one that was telling us it had a candidate. Today, the Church of Christ is very much ashamed of being associated with UDA government. That is my take, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what you think, but from where I sit, that is what is happening. And actually, UDA and uh, its bad past will soon be a thing of the past. Bye and have a blessed day.